Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to beautiful Santa Cruz. We have a worship in a beautiful location today and preparing for level 2 core interval yoga. Starting at the front of our mats and begin to deepen your breath. Turning the palms of your hands forward, open chest, strong core. Beginning to deepen your breath and beginning to be aware of your breath. Inhale your hands all the way over your head, arching slightly, exhale folding forward, forward bend. Inhale look ahead of you and step back into plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, pressing your toes down. Chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog. Lifting the tailbone high, spread the fingers wide open, feet parallel to each other, back to plank. Take side plank, right hand on the floor, left arm reaches up, hips on top of each other, reach all the way over your head towards the front of the room, back to plank, change sides, side plank on the opposite side, reaching towards the front of the room, palm of the hand down, lower down, and again side plank on the right side. left hand behind your head and we'll do knee ducks right knee comes in left knee comes in alternating one two three four five six alternating seven eight nine and ten reaching ahead of you lower down Opposite side, left hand on the floor, right hand behind the head, elbow to knee, changing sides. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reaching ahead of you. Lower both hands on the floor, plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, step the right foot between the hands, press the back heel away from you, high lunge. Reaching up, pressing the back heel away from you, right knee over the right ankle. Exhale the left arm on the ground, spin the right arm up and over the head, twisting lunge. Exhale, both hands on the floor, step back to plank, chaturanga, upward dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog. Take the left leg up, step the left foot between the hands, high lunge. Right hand on the floor, spin the left arm up. And reach over your head, press your left hip back. Exhale, both hands on the floor, step back, moving through vinyasa, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down facing dog. And I'm readjusting my mat, this mat was still new when I got it and it wasn't working, it wasn't well sticking well when I first got it but by now it's really working well so after all I recommend it I'll post which one it is right now I'm forgetting the name and let's take plank right hand on the floor this time we're going to be alternating touching the toes 10 times right hand to right toes right hand to left toes 3 4 Straight leg, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keeping the hips lifted, reach over the head, both hands on the floor, chaturanga, upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog, inhale, 
right leg up, step the right foot between the hands, come up high lunge, hands in prayer, left elbow on the outside of the right knee, twist, shoulders away from the ears and we'll open the right arm out, drop the right hand down the left leg and reach up, facing forward, lower back down and step back, plank chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, exhale downward facing dog. Lifting, spread the hands wide open, fingers, side plank, left hand on the ground, hips on top of each other. And we are going to touch the toes with a straight leg in front of us 10 times, alternating right and leg, uh, right and left legs. Keeping the hips lifted and on above each other, aligning the hips. Excellent, both hands on the floor, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to chaturanga and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up, step the left foot between the hands, high lunge. Press the back heel away from you. Hands in prayer, bring the right elbow on the outside of the left knee, twist. Soften your belly, press the back heel away from you. Open the left arm up and drop the left hand down the right leg, twist, reach up. Facing forward, exhale down, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog. Let's walk the feet between the hands, exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Sit back as far back as you can. In chair pose, press your hips back, knees back. And forward bend, clasping the hands behind you, soften the shoulders. Let your head be heavy, soften the face muscles, back to chair, clasping, look over your right shoulder, chair, looking over the left shoulder, and inhale the hands all the way up, coming out of chair, lift and reach, exhale forward bend, inhale look ahead of you, step back, into plank, right hand on the ground, side plank, feet on top of each other, we're going to touch the right foot to the right hand, ten times, one, two, three, Four. We're lifting above the head here. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And let's bring both hands on the floor. Keep your feet crossed. So right foot in front of the left. Walk your hands back to your feet. Feet crossed, stretching here the hamstrings, the hips too. Walk your hands to the front of your mat, uncross your feet, lift the right leg up, step the right foot between the hands, drop the back heel down, warrior one. Vera one, hips facing forward, two, warrior two, opening the hip. Reverse the warrior. Warrior two to side angle. Right hand on the ground, reaching with the left hand forward. 
keep opening that left hip. Coming all the way up. Straighten the right leg. Both legs are straight. Triangle pose. Hinging at the hips. Reaching away. Way ahead of you. Opening the left hip. Lengthening the torso. Reaching over the head. Both hands on the ground, wide legged forward bend, walk your hands between your legs, facing the side of your room. Excellent, let's walk to the front of the room. Low lunge, bring your hands on the inside of the right foot, lower your left knee down and hold here and tuck the tailbone under. Great, step it back, plank and chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to Chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog. Side plank on the opposite side, left hand on the ground, hips on top of each other. We're going to do 10 toe touches above the head, lifting the right leg up to the right hand. One, that requires balancing. Two, the head, both hands on the ground, cross the feet, walk your hands back to your feet, forward bend, stretching here, breathe into your hip, let's walk the hands to the front of the mat. Plank, Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up, step it through, and let's come up, warrior one. Hip squaring forward, opening to warrior two. Take a little wider stance here, relax your shoulders. Reversing the warrior, walk the right hand down the right leg. Exhale, left hand on the ground by your foot. Side angle, reaching towards the front of the room. And coming back up to warrior two. Straighten the legs, triangle, reaching way ahead of you. Lower the left hand somewhere onto your left shin bone. Reach ahead of you, bring both hands on the floor and take a low lunge. Tucking the tailbone under, stretching the hip flexors on the right side. Great, step back all the way to plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, looking to the left and to the right, chin parallel to the floor, back to chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, step the right foot between the hands and come up, high lunge. And let's bring the left hand on the floor, twisting here, keep side angle, keep your back heel on the ground, outer edge of the left foot on the floor. Great, coming back up to warrior one. And let's square the hips, right hand on the right hip, reach way ahead of you with the left and bring the left hand on the ground, revolving triangle.
great. Exhale, chest over your right thigh. Intense side stretch. And let's walk the hands to the center of the mat between the feet. Face the back of your room now, left foot leading and come up. Warrior one, keep the right heel down, squaring the hips. Bring the right hand on the floor, twisting here and reach way ahead of you. Inhale, coming back up to warrior one. And now let's square the hips, reach way ahead of you and lower down, right hand on the floor, twisting, revolving triangle pose, keeping the back heel on the ground, softening the belly, hands reaching away from each other. And let's bring the chest over the left thigh and side stretch. Great. Walk the hands to the center of your mat, between your legs, wide legged forward bend, hands on the hips and come up to standing. Clasp your hands behind you, open the chest, soften the shoulders, look up, slowly bending forward, wide legged forward bend with a clasp, hands clasping behind you, softening the shoulders. Straight back, coming up. And once you're halfway up, you can look over the right shoulder and over the left, twisting here, using the core strength, the core strength to support you here. Great. Release the hands on the ground, bending the right knee, flex the left foot, stretching here. You can optional here, clasp, wrapping your arms around your right leg and opening the arms out. Great, change in sides here, left leg, left knee bending, stretching the right leg, maybe clasping, soften the shoulders, flexing the foot, and opening the arms out, release the hands down. Open the feet out to the sides, plie, squat, twisting here side to side. And back to plie. Clasping the hands behind you, move them gently to one side and move them gently to the opposite side here to just stretch the shoulders further. And now we're going to reach out to the sides and lower the right hand by the right ankle, coming back up, left hand by the left ankle, side angle of sorts in plie mode and back up. Great, lower down for frog stretch, knees on the ground, the feet are flexing, calves parallel to each other, try to keep your calves parallel to each other, flex the knees, if you have knee injury and pain, skip that pose and rest. Alright, coming back up, feet together, open the chest. Great, coming on to all fours, we're going to bring the right shoulder on the ground and open the back of the shoulder, back, upper back here in this twist, hips over the knees, and changing sides, this is a stretch most of you are familiar with, we've done it many times, if not you can pause the video and Observe it and then do it. It's a very beneficial stretch. 
stretch just to twist those from it's great for the upper body back neck shoulders spine and coming up standing on the knees prepare for camel pose bring your hands on your lower back elbows walking towards each other and all from the chest up knees hip width apart camel whenever you're done you can rest in child's pose over your head, take plank and we're going to go for knee tucks 10 to 20 knee tucks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 side to side knee tucks you're crossing your body with your knee 10 of those or you can pause and do 20 of those always feel free to add a few reps if you have time this day and now outside knee ducks right knee stepping out or right foot stepping out left foot stepping out keeping the core strong Once you're done you can come onto your knees one more time camel pose coming out of camel pose onto your right forearm crossing the forearm in front of you bring your right leg back and reach back grab it with your left hand here softening the shoulder great changing sides trying to square the hips as much as you can and release Coming back up, fingers pointing back at you, sit back here. And let's bring the top of the hand on the floor, palm of the hand up, fingers pointing at you, sitting back and stretching. Those are good wrist stretches that you can perform if you have wrist problems, you can do them a few times a day. And coming back up in downward dog inhale the right leg up open the right knee up lift the hips up wow thing maybe the wheel both hands on the floor and coming back into one legged downward facing dog step the right foot between the hands and come up warrior one clasping the hands behind you humble warrior lowering the forehead towards the ankle pressing into the outer edge of the back foot and coming up side angle with holding the Clasp behind, lowering the right shoulder over the right knee. Straighten the leg, holding the clasp, triangle. This is not for beginners. Beginners can use the original version of the pose. And reach ahead of you. This is even more difficult. Great. And from here, hands in the center of your mat. Wide-legged forward bend. Walking to the back of the room. Warrior one left leg leading exhale your hands behind you clasping 
opening the chest, softening the shoulders, humble warrior, lowering the forehead towards the ankle, pressing into the outer edge of the back foot, releasing the shoulders, softening the shoulders. Inhale, coming up, clasping, side angle. Straightening the leg, lengthening to the crown of the head. Triangle and reaching over your head. Release both hands on the floor. Lift the left leg up. Wild thing. Stepping the foot behind. Maybe, maybe will if you wish. And you can lower yourself onto your back. However you come to your back, soles of the feet together, bound angle pose. Let's bring the right knee into the chest, left knee into the chest. Right leg straight over the chest and over to your right stretching the right inner thigh hip groin area look away from your leg keep your shoulders on the ground changing sides bring your left leg up and out keep the opposite hip down if you can look away from your leg Great, and now let's bring the right knee into the chest, a point twist across from your body, walk away from your knee, shoulders on the ground, changing sides, great, and prepare for plow. Bring your legs up and over your head. Once you bring them over the head, you can shimmy the shoulders, walk the elbows closer to each other. If your feet are touching the floor, have the top part of your feet on the ground rather than the soles of your feet. Try to bring your chest as close to your chin as you can. shoulder stand you can do a supported or not supported shoulder stand hands on your lower back or not and now bending the knees lower the knees over the ears this is a quick pace practice do it on days when you want to move through a nice strong vinyasa semi quickly hitting the poses and moving through like moving water coming out of plow lower down onto your back and fish pose hands by the hips bring the crown of your head on the floor stretching the chest stretching the neck great coming out of this grab the back of your knees and rock back and forth to just come all the way up to sit it side stretches keep your hips on the ground and reach side to side gliding the hands out to your side moving into a twist hand to opposite knee looking behind you changing sides stepping back in plank hands on the ground plank and we'll do circles with the knees right knee right leg in the air 10 circles contracting the core and drawing big circles with your knee changing sides five in one direction five in the opposite you feel free to do just one direction great and let's step the right foot between the hands warrior one two warrior two Two 
a side angle. Clasping. Both hands on the floor. Lower the left knee down. Low lunge. Step it back. Take the left leg up and draw circles with the left knee. Big circles contracting the core. Then up down five in each direction. Reversing the direction. This is also great for your hips because we're introducing circular motion in the hip area. And let's step the left foot between the hands. Come up, warrior one. Hands over the heart, warrior two. Reaching ahead of you, side angle. Clasping underneath. Bound side angle. Open the chest. Great, release both hands on the floor, lower the right knee down, low lunge. Moving into pigeon, right leg on the ground, flexing the right foot, hips square, holding here, try to have proper alignment and try to remember to flex your foot if you're going very deep in the pose, it's essential for in order to protect your knee. Anyone with knee pain, knee injury can do this pose on their back, I have tutorials of on my channel how to substitute pigeon. Go to my tutorials, they're in a playlist. Making sure that you are aligning when you do pigeon and when you practice in general. Coming back up. Drawing up your circles with your knee. Changing sides. Square the hips. Lower down, keeping the spine elongated. And breathe. Guiding your stretches with your breath through the breath. The breath is what connects the body. <laughs> this is Sophie's tail in the screen. <laughs> As I was trying to say that the breath is what connects our soul to our physical. And we cannot deny either one. We are both, for this part of this journey, we are both the physical and the spiritual. We are finding where they connect. We're bringing them into harmony. Focus on your breath. It will ground you, it will center you. It will make you a stronger being. Just connecting, focusing on your breath. Anytime you have anxiety, just Drop whatever you're doing and breathe nice, deep, ujjayi if you can, breathe for 20 minutes, don't stop, even if it starts to, if it seems like it's getting worse at first, just stay for 20 minutes, deep breathing and you see, you see the trans transformative power of breath. And slowly coming up, coming into one legged down dog, you can draw circles with your knee 
and let's sit between the feet you can lower down if your knees and muscles are stretched thunderbolt keeping the knees hip width apart Softly breathing here. Whenever you're ready, feel free to come out of this pose and make yourself comfortable in Shavasana or any easy cross legged seated pose. Allowing yourself to remain present for a few moments, grateful and thankful for the present moment and for everything that you have in your life, have the power to experience or to have the perspective of all your life experiences as great opportunities to learn, whether they're happy events or challenging events, always find a way to see the bigger lesson, the big picture in your life's events. Finding the wisdom to remain connected and caring yet not attached to everything that's going on in your life because let's face it there is always going to be stress and challenges and as long as we're fully attached to them we're suffering through them so participating and taking action and recognizing and caring but at the same time not f attaching fully to everything because there is always a bigger picture and a reason for everything and everything is temporary so everything will eventually pass and our attitude is really what is gonna guide us through and allow us to learn the lessons in the events rather than keep repeating them up until we learn them so stay in that you that has the outer witness within seeing yourself from outside and understanding the bigger picture of the event in your life because those events are not random they're there to offer you opportunities they're not there to suffocate you and make you suffer they're there to offer you opportunities there your potential to grow. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.